in terms of everyone's conditioning, how is how is the team looking? Felt good. You know, we've had a lot of guys here for you know most of September, and then we were training with our other guys a lot since so uh, the rest of the summer. So we got guys came in in good shape mentally and physically. How different is the structure that you've impl you've implemented on the offense compared to what? everyone saw from the team after you became the interim coach? Uh, not to give away all the secrets, but there's definitely more uh, player movement and ball movement for sure. Speaking of that, uh, the, the extra motion, the kind of moving away from a primary ball handler to multiple ball handlers, what's the key to keeping that organized? Spacing, getting to your spacing as quickly as possible to let the talents of our playmakers see that so they can have a full view of the court. Like you said, we have multiple guys who can handle the ball and we want to ex expand that more and make it tough on de defenses to guard us. Mental is to physical as four is to one. What is your overarching assessment of what the mental aggressiveness was for the team today? Our team was great. They came in, they were ready to go, but our team's like this every day. I, don't, I wouldn't expect anything less from our guys, but today was a great day, but we got to come back and do it again tomorrow. Who said that the offense is going to be extremely unconventional? What do you think makes it that way? I wouldn't call it unconventional, Bill. Okay. I'll, we'll like who's run with that. Uh, we're just trying to put pressure on the defense, and we're asking our guys to do hard things, play fast, move the ball, penetration, multiple penetrations, drive and kick, and like those things are hard. Um, we're not apologizing for that. We have a high standard here, so that's probably some of the things he was talking about. When you're looking at the people trying to you know, fight for roster spots a little lower on the depth chart, who's stand out, who stood out to you today? You know what? I, I'm just going to go the whole group, uh, the whole mindset of the whole group. I'm not going to single out anybody individually. I thought they all brought it today. They're all intentional about how they practice. Just got to continue to do it tomorrow. There's a lot of new faces in the building with veterans and rookies. How have those vets kind of helped bring those new guys along? Uh, you know, we're lucky to have the guys we've added this summer and then the guys we've had on our team from the years past. Like, those guys are total pros. They know how to prepare. They love the game, and they showed it today. How did... Uh how did Alex Saar and also Bub look today? Uh, they were great. I mean, these guys loved to the play. They were thrilled to be out here. Obviously, their first day, so I'm sure they were excited. But those guys have been doing it all summer, so it was just a continuation of what they've been doing. But I'm sure they were excited for the first real day of training camp. How is the process of teaching them professional habits, as you said you intend to do? How has that gone so far? Well, the first part, those guys had already have a lot of that stuff because we drafted high character guys. So they made my, you know, thank God for the front office. They made my job really easy. Like these guys are really high character people who understand. We're just going to help support them and grow that. Obviously, these are new experiences, you know, first practice. All these things are going to be new for them, but we're going to keep building those habits on a day to day basis. Multiple players yesterday said that Jordan seemed more relaxed, more like loose. Have you noticed that as well? And what do you think contributes to that? You know, Jordan is just a continuation when he did the second half of last year, and he's even better than that already. So I think he's just being, we're going to empower him to be himself. That's what we want him to do, and he was great today. What do you think playing on the ball does for him? He's such a threat. Um, he's also a threat when he gets off it, when he initiates the offense, too. This is a guy who can really move without the ball. So, like, him starting the offense and then getting off it and then coming back to him, it's hard to guard. More cutting and more motion, but specifically more cutting, it, it, I think it probably makes everyone think of Corey Kispert because he is very good at cutting. How, how do you think that could benefit him? I think he, I think he's a good teacher for the rest of the group. This guy's a one man, I used to call him like John Havlicek last year, the amount of motion that he could get. This guy can run all over the court. It's an unbelievable condition. Great example for how we want to play. Brian, which guys were limited today? Really, no one was limited. able to practice fully? We only had one non-participant today. Uh, Jonas Valanciunas was, had a personal reason, but everybody else was ready to go. Uh, it's a process. It's, a, it's an everyday thing. Um, you know, you don't want to be, you, you don't want to come into sh uh, camp being your best, best tip top. You know, you kind of want to get into the season, uh, get into preseason and, and, and really use preseason to, you know, really catapult yourself. You know, so you don't die out mid-season, and um, I'm, I'm right on track. Who stood out to you today? Um, um, I don't know. It's a good question. PBJ, PBJ. Yeah. I'm gonna get PBJ. Uh, he looks noticeably different. Uh, he's using his body a lot more this year than he has in the past. You know, he's usually been a, a jump shooter, but. Uh, he uses his body a little bit more and I think it looks good for him.
What do you mean when you say he's using his body? Uh, he's using his frame. He's 6'10", like 240. And uh, he's not just shooting jump shots. Yeah, he's getting to the paint. With a bunch of new additions with the rookies and some of the vets, how important is this training camp here if you guys start yelling? Uh, I mean, every training, point, uh, training camp is important. Um, you know, this is a new group. Uh, you know, really a new head coach as well. Although we had him last year, he's putting his own touch on everything now. Uh, we got a lot of new rookies, got new vets. Uh, so, you know, it's a brand new team. So every day is really important. What would you say the main touch that he's putting on the team? Um, offense, we got a completely different offense. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, he, he's always had his, his touch within um, playing hard and, and playing defense. I think that's one thing that BK does, but um, his touch is really like offensively, so. What specifically looks different about the offense? I, uh, I mean, it's just a completely different feel. Uh, it's, it's a non-traditional offense for the NBA, um, something that a lot of teams probably have never really seen, haven't really done, so it's gonna be, um, you know, very different for NBA teams to guard us uh, with what we're trying to accomplish. Have you brought any sort of new elements to the game? You know, like I said, many of the smart veterans, and you're definitely one of them, uh -huh. come back with a new wrinkle um, or having fine-tuned something that you already had. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just uh, more poised. I'm more patient. Um, you know, as you get older, you slow down more and more. And I think uh, I've slowed down a lot more, um, you know, not forcing it playing through it, letting my teammates play their game, um, you know, being able to sit in the corner and, um, you know, wait it out a little bit, and then when it's my time, pick my spots and uh, attack, so. So just getting you close to being NBA, in the NBA shape. It was great, uh, you know, we had like two months or something like that, just in market, being in DC, working out, so, you know, it was just great for me to get in shape, uh, get to know the players, get to know my teammates, but you know, it's the process that's still going on, but it's, it's going great. What did you learn about yourself today? Uh, I mean, today I feel like I was more, you know, trying to get my stamina up and, and running hard and all that. So I'll say I, was, I just, I learned some plays today. I learned some new plays. What do you like most about the way the Wizards are planning to use you this year? Um, I think the Wizards want everybody to be a threat on the court. And uh, you know, that's something that's going to be really good for our offense. Uh, we're going to play with a lot of pace, and you know, I feel like I'm pretty fast, so uh, it fits me pretty well. Have you and Jonas talked a lot about like how you want to pair defensively? Same for you and Bilal. Uh, we haven't talked about it yet, but uh, we're sure that, you know, it's going to happen in games where we're both on the court, me and Bilal, me and Jonas, and, uh, you know, we definitely got each other back. How did the veteran and experienced players help you today? Uh, you know, they help a lot sometimes. Uh, just giving feedback on, uh, you know, you think you, you made the right read or you did something defensively that you don't know you did wrong and they come up to you and they tell you you should do this or this. So uh, I feel like it's a, it's a big help, definitely. Who helped you the most, do you think? I mean, I could name a lot. Uh, AG helps me a lot. Malcolm Brogdon helps me. Uh, Bags, Marvin Bagley helps me a lot. JP, Kuz, I mean, I feel like it's all around you, really. You played in a professional league last year, but what's the biggest difference you noticed from the NBL to the NBA? Uh, I feel like everybody here is more athletic, obviously. Um, you know, it's the best league in the world, so the whole, every player is maybe has a little more talent, but uh, the NBL is a really fast-paced league too, and uh, you know, he has a lot of talent too, so I feel like he, he prepped me pretty well. I've heard the rookies all have like a really big friendship, you, Bub, Keyshawn. What's that connection been like, and how helpful has it been? It's great, you know, we, we go every everywhere together. Uh, when we got events to go to, we're all the rookies there. So uh, we hang out with each other a lot. And, uh, you know, it's great. We, we're all going through this together. What are some of the physical parts of the game that you're, try that you're trying to develop, work on? I'll definitely say my stamina, uh, you know, being in shape for the season. It's a lot of games, it's 48 minutes games. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to be as ready as I can. Balance uh, working on your outside shooting with uh, developing like a low post game. Yeah, I feel like it's all about reads. Uh, you know, it's all about what the defense gives you. Sometimes you got to go inside, sometimes outside. But uh, 
feel like what makes a, someone really a threat is mixing both of them.